Okay, so um, I was just going over some of the stuff uh, oh, on my desk, and I uh, recently dug up the, this bunch, and they're all Linux-based um, mobile devices, and they're all very, very, very interesting. Uh, in order of uh, uh, CPU power, the, this one is the the GPH Canoe. And it is uh, an ARM 11 uh, base SOC um, with some weird GPU, um, uh, but it's just an interesting device. I don't know if it's I, have, I haven't really used it in a couple of months, but it's an interesting device. I don't really want to get myself in the shot too much. Maybe if I, let me try. All right. Come on. Alright. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's do that angle. So this is interesting. Let me see if I can run a, a game real quick. And it's also a touch screen. And there are actually uh, plenty of fun open source games and, and games available for the canoe. Uh, and it does have a bunch of uh, emulators you can get. This is a really nice game. If I can remember how to fire. Oh, I was firing. I'm dying. That's horrible. But that's that's enough of that. So yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna be making much more of these. I went on the. Um, the what was it? This is another system. Um, I can't remember the name. Um, this is almost vaporware, but a, a few people uh, actually got it. Um, the Open Pandora. There we go. Um, the the guy Evil Dragon. Um, one of the the main guys over there. There were. Well, there was a post and it was saying there's a limited amount of canoes left, and he sells them in his in his online store. It's an interesting device. Then we go to the second one. Uh, I just wanted a really sleek, minimalistic design phone. And I got this one. It's the Palm Pixie. Let me see if this one has any power. I haven't been using it lately. Oh, oh there you go. So it is very thin. It's about 10, 11. Uh, millimeters I got two megapixel I think a two megapixel camera on back with a flash uh, it's really good reception uh, the keyboard sucks it's a pretty tiny keyboard although it does have good feel I guess a good with the bad and uh, it's a pretty good uh, processor it's a TIO map uh, 36 xx I remember the sp specific model um, but this one is the Palm Pixie uh, Plus, if I'm not mistaken, when they had the 512 megs of RAM, because the original Palm Pixie only had 256. And I'll have the uh, like a, an annotation so you can see the correction, the right um, uh, facts or specs. And then this one is the Palm Pre. Uh, this is actually the OG, uh, the OG Sprint Palm Pre. Uh, very very nice phone for the time when it when it came out, and boy was it uh, the hardware wasn't there I can tell you that. Let me try to grab focus. Oh, come on, let's do manual focus. Oh, this one sucks for focusing. There we go. It takes forever. I don't want to move the camera too much. Let's do it right there. As you can see uh, the door for the micro USB fell off, and there are like uh, cracks all over. It has been around the block, so I bought this one used actually. So, and most of them, some of these are actually me. And the touch screen is effed up, <laughs> it doesn't really work. And then this is the bad boy right here 
This is a Nokia N900 slider. Very good keyboard, although they don't have a lot of travel like the Palm Pre or the Pixie. Uh, but it's just a really nice phone uh, right here Carl Zeiss 28 lens uh, 28 millimeter um, 28 I don't know I don't know the sensor size but it produces actually usable images it's an older camera uh, sensor it's not as good as uh, later models like for the N8 or the new Pure View uh, Really good screen. Let me see if I, I think this one has some power. I should check if the Palm Pre has power. Although I haven't used this one in months. As expected. Yeah. Um, really nice uh, design. I'm going to try to wrap up soon. One of the only phones that has actually a kickstand. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Because it, it doesn't lie, um, so you can see you know, it's, it's a bit limited. Let's save and get to the menu. MAMO 5, a uh, really good operating system. Served as the base for Migo, which then served as the base for Tizen, which is going nowhere real fast. But we have to wait and see. Well, it was a very good operating system from Nokia. It's too bad that they decided to you know to move away from it although Migo does look really nice especially on that new uh, N950 which I want but those are gonna be expensive I actually got this one as a, at a really good price this is also used and uh, I'm about to finish the video right here but this thing rocks uh, the only caveat would be at a capacitive screen you gotta use your fingernail can't you, you can use your finger white it's not very accurate so you, what does do all right oh my god just behave